our sponsors at the American Cancer Society have tasked a few good men with the job of raising $2,500 to fight breast cancer in their Men Wear Pink campaign. And today we get a chance to hear from Keith Sconiers and he is he has a reason for being one of the ambassadors to get the road to get the word out about this campaign and to fight the end of a horrible disease. Keith, thank you so much for being here today. Yeah, thank you for having me. No problem. So tell me more about Men Wear Pink. How did you come become involved with this particular campaign? Well, I have a couple of friends. One of them, his name is Will Everhart. Yes. And if you know Will, <laughs> Will, you don't tell Will no, right? And All so right. I got nominated by Will. Jeremy Marcotte also is a friend of Will. And so when they both, I believe, nominated me somehow, I was like, I basically don't have a way out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Will was on the show and he told us that he recruited some fellas. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just reaffirming. <laughs> Will meant what he said, yeah. okay? <laughs> Will means business. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So what's, what's your relation? I mean, cancer is just such a big problem and we are all affected by it in one way or another, whether it's directly or a friend or a friend's relative. What's your relationship with um, cancer? Well, the person that motivates me the most, I never got a chance to meet. And that was my grandfather. My grandfather was a veteran. He was uh, disabled. He had nine children with my grandmother. He was hardworking and he built my grandmother a home. Um, from recycled wood that he got from a contract that he got for tearing down homes for that were uh, being taken as a part of like an eminent domain yeah. project in Fresno, California. And so my dad would always tell me stories about my grandfather, but my grandfather had a tumor on the base of his brain. And so he was sick most of his, like after being discharged from the military, he was yeah. spent most of his life sick. But he was very dedicated to taking care of his family. And so the house that I lived in in high school was the house that my grandfather built. It's been wow. around since <laughs> like the mid 60s. So it's never had a mortgage on it. My, um, my entire family grew up and lived in that house. My dad lives in that house currently. And it's really because of my grandfather wow. that I work so hard today because of the legacy that he left. But I never got a chance to meet him because of cancer. Wow, he sounds amazing. Oh my goodness. just. That yeah. short story of him. He, he sounds yeah. like an amazing man. I'm so sorry for your loss. Yeah. And uh, it does sound like he, he set you guys up for this, you know, amazing life. Like you said, don't have to worry about the mortgage. Yeah. Your grandfather was into sustainable living before it he became was, hot. He was sustainable before <laughs> sustainable was a thing, right? Yes, he was. <laughs> Repurposed wood, right? Yeah. I never oh, thought so, about that. Yeah. yeah. Grandpa was on it. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> so what do you hope that people take away from this campaign? Seeing all of these fellas supporting um, the breast can uh, the cancer society mm -hmm. and really promoting giving to the 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 fundraiser and, and things like that. Yeah. The one thing I want people to take away from it is that everybody has lost somebody that mm -hmm. means everything to them, right? Even if in my case, like I never got a chance to meet my grandfather, but his example is something that I really strive towards like um, bringing forth in my own life. And so I want people to take away from this campaign that everyone that is around them who has either lost someone as a result of breast cancer or some other form of cancer is still in the grieving process. And one way to support is either through donation, but also through being available and opening up your home to them for a dinner or a meal mm -hmm. to, um, to find a way to support one another through it. Because I think that we are all still grieving people even on the other side of you know COVID-19 and things yeah. like that. And so, that's what I want people to take away from this campaign is to support, get back to really supporting one another. That's so good. I, I hadn't even thought of kind of the multitude of ways that we can still be active in, you know, the fight against cancer without fundraising and, and giving actual money. Mm -hmm. That That's so beautiful. But with this campaign, we mm -hmm. are, each guy is trying to raise 2,500. Yes. Do you have a plan of attack? <laughs> are you, yeah. what, what are you doing to bring in the funds? You know, Jeremy Marcotte 
and Will Everhart. Those are marketing guys, yes. right? So I really have to like dig in deep yeah. and make some personal phone calls. It's a friendly competition. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to make some. I need to make some phone calls. Um, I'm going to be doing some things with my podcast. It's oh, called. Nice. It's called Purpose. Um, and so I'll be. I, I haven't quite figured out my entire strategy, okay. but it's going to be a combination of personal phone calls, reaching out to people you know, interviewing people potentially on the podcast, um, pink on purpose. Oh, I uh, love it. T-shirts, right? So if Look anybody- that, you're a marketing genius yeah, yourself. Yeah, you know, Look it's a, you know I, I, will, I will donate 100% of the proceeds from any T-shirt purchase uh, to the campaign as well. Well, where can we go to get the T-shirts? KeithSconyers.com. Okay. Yep, there's also a hat that comes with it. It's a pink on purpose hat. We and love so, good merch. Yeah, okay. right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that that's available right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> yep. I love that. Yep. What would you say to any guys out there who are kind of just learning about this campaign and yeah. want to participate next year or anyone who maybe is like on edge and I don't know, maybe I want to participate, maybe I... I I'm still unsure. What would you tell them? Well, first of all, pink's cool. I mean, like, let's let's not get it twisted. It is it's very <laughs> right. very sophisticated. Right, right. <laughs> and it takes a strong man to, to be able to pull it off, right? But what I want to say is that, like, I haven't. My aunt, first and foremost, she just uh, did her breast cancer walk this weekend in Compton, okay. California. So she's a breast cancer survivor. Um, but. I hadn't personally like lost someone to Brands Gessner, right? And so some people may be feeling like, well, I don't really have a story. I don't really have a connection. Everybody has a story and a connection to this story, right? And so everyone can support. Yeah. Just learn, do your research, connect with people, connect with a friend who may have a family member who has um, dealt with breast cancer and just learn and ask them there you know I mentioned you can invite somebody over to cook you know for, for dinner or something like that but you may not be able like you may not be a good cook you know like <laughs> yeah, and if you're not that person that don't do not. that like that's just that's trauma <laughs> on trauma so <laughs> let's not do that but ask them hey yeah. is there anything that I can do to support you yeah um, whether it be you know introducing them to someone who can support them you know because your food's not good yeah or, you know, like I mentioned, donating, being a, a safe here, safe yeah. place to go, yeah. safe place, safe Opening place to conversate. Conversation. Yeah. I love mm -hmm. that. Yeah. Well, Keith, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. I can't wait for people to go ahead and get your T-shirts, donate to the cause, donate to Keith. I, it is some friendly competition going, yeah. so I can't wait to see who comes out on top. Yeah. But it's all going towards the same place. A very amazing cause. So I thank you so much. You're not sending me home now, are you? You're not. You're not transitioning the. To... Well, you know, I, I've been here quite a while. I'm offended. I've been here since the early morning. <laughs> now, if you want to stay, yeah, I can this, call off tomorrow. Right. You, you know what? I got you. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and get up off this seat. Keith will be here tomorrow for y'all. <laughs> Oh, Keith was awesome. Thank you so much to our sponsors at the American Cancer Society. And we hope that you are giving what you can to this amazing cause.